Are you using the right words in your business? Hey there, I'm Abby Herman with Write Solutions, and in today's Wednesday Writing Tip, we're going to talk about how word choice affects how you communicate with your audience. You probably hired a copywriter to write the content on your website because you know how much your words matter when you're communicating online. But online communication goes well beyond the actual content on your website or your sales page. It goes into everything that you communicate out there with your audience. So to up the ante on your written communication, I'm going to give you four quick tips to help you be more effective with your words. So my first tip is to identify those words that are important in your business. So for example, there are people out there that identify themselves as a unicorn or a strategist or a badass or motivator, wordsmith, master, encourager. You get the picture. There's a lot of words out there to describe what we do and how we do it. So identify the words that are important for you and your business and write them down. Keep them on a sticky note next to your computer screen or your keyboard. Keep them in your planner. Have those handy so that when you're writing, you can make sure to use some of those words within your content. So the second thing is to use active voice as much as possible when you're communicating. The more active your writing is, the more it engages your audience and keeps them involved. So let me give you an example. If you're a photographer and you need wedding clients to book six months in advance, you might write something on your website like, weddings must be booked six months in advance. That's passive voice because the person taking the action is not the subject of the sentence. So a better way to write that would be, you must book your weddings six months in advance. It keeps your audience as the subject of the sentence. For more information about how to write in active voice, I'm gonna include a link to a blog post that I wrote on using active voice down in the description. Next is jargon. There's a lot of jargon out there relating to your industry, whatever it happens to be. If you're a designer, the word Pantone is jargon. If you're a website developer, analytics is jargon for those people who don't know anything about it. Jargon is any term that is not widely known. So make sure to either avoid jargon or find a way to define the word within the content itself. Make sure that your audience knows what you're talking about. And finally, SEO or search engine optimization. So this is how we get the search engines to pay attention to our content online. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but the most important way to do it is to write for your readers. Write for the people who are actually going to be reading the content and don't worry so much about the keywords in your copy. Are keywords important? Yes, they are important because that's what helps your search engines find you. But it's more important to write as a person so that the actual people reading your content will continue to read it and will share it because that will bring up your search engine optimization. That will raise your ranking on the search engines much faster and organically than writing for the robots that are reading your content online. In short, pay attention to the words that you're using online and make sure that you're actually writing for people. If you like the information that I shared here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. A new Wednesday writing tip comes out every Wednesday. I will see you next week. Take care.